Hello everyone, and welcome to Half-Life Alex. A whole lot of you have requested that I play this game, and for a while I kind of went back and forth on whether I wanted to play this game on the channel. I thought, does it really fit? Is it really a horror game? And in the end I'd made the decision not to play it on the channel. I decided to start going through just on my own to experience it for myself. And while there were some moments that I figured, okay, like, that was kind of spooky. I haven't really felt like I was missing anything by not doing it on the channel. However, something that a lot of you have been saying, or at least a few of you, a few people that I've talked to about the game have asked me, did you get to Jeff yet? And I said, no, who's Jeff? And they're like, oh, well, well, well Jeff is kind of scary. So when I got through the game, I decided, okay, I I'll, d I'll do Jeff. I'll record Jeff. And I got to here, and the thing came up, Chapter 7, Jeff. Now, I believe that puts me in a very unique position to experience this, because this is my first playthrough. I don't know anything about what's coming, because I've managed to avoid spoilers for the entire year that this game has been out. The only context I have for why I'm recording now is because of people telling me that I have to record my encounter with Jeff, whoever or whatever Jeff is. So, to say that there's been hype for me is a bit of an understatement. I'm really anxious about what this is, because one of my observations so far from playing Half-Life Alex is that it has, by a huge margin, the best graphics I've ever seen in a VR game. The indoor environments are so real that it really is just, it, you're there. You just are there. It, it's such a great game, visually. There's definitely a bunch of old bottles in here. Does alcohol go bad? It only improves. It's all good, Alex. Russell, you're breaking up. The vodka is good, Alex! The vodka is good! Okay, so... That's the first rule of horror. Break contact with the outside world. <laughs> Guys, I am so nervous. Just because so many of you have said, Okay, okay, understand that you're not doing the game, but you have... When you get to Jeff, when you get to the Jeff chapter, you have to record it. And wow, Valve is still innovating after all these years. Look at this, I hold up the bottle, and the fluid actually reacts as I move it around, as if it's being influenced by gravity. Nice. There's also, so this like wrist flick mechanic, come on, is extremely intuitive. I found it hard at first, but once you get used to it, like a lot of things work really well and really quickly, like the weapon switching. Okay. How am I getting through this door? Doesn't look like I can open this up. Another thing that's really innovative about this game is that it really is the next level in player interaction with the environment. So in a lot of VR games, opening doors is kind of a chore. Getting too close to walls and stuff can cause all kinds of problems, but not here. Here, I push into things and the way your hand stops, and the way the haptic motors apply feedback to your hand, it really makes it feel like I'm actually touching the object. And so there's, besides the amazing graphics, never before in a game have I felt so much like I was actually in that world. I reach down and I pull open a drawer, and I feel like I have just pulled open a drawer. It makes me really excited to see where VR technology is going to go in the future. But now, I can't really see where I'm supposed to be going. Other than to climb up here, perhaps? Yep, there we go. Now, what are these guys? I saw some of these scallop things in the environment right before this one, but I don't know what they do. I imagine they're going to want to snap snap at me if I get close. Uh, let's use the wrist flick to grab... Oh, I dropped it. I was going to use the wrist flick to grab that resin. Let's try again. For those that don't know, I can pick up that resin, which is hidden around the map, 
and use it to unlock upgrades for my weapons. I actually just, so I took my headset off to look at OBS to make sure that it's recording correctly, and I just realized that it actually displays the HUD for you. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, honestly. I don't know how to change it, so we're gonna have to deal with it. Okay, okay, okay. So because of the haptic feedback, I actually do kind of fear the bite a little bit. I love the doors in this game. It's not like in Saints and Sinners, where it's a whole dance to get a door open. You really feel like it's just as easy as doing it, and in VR you tend to appreciate the little things, but that also allows the horror aspects of a game to stand out. It's like a melted body. What is that? Ammo for my machine gun. I don't imagine there's any getting through here. Oh, but I see resin inside. Come on, yes! I believe this was some kind of, like, brewery, like a vodka distillery or something like that? seems to have been overtaken by some kind of alien fungus. See, it do there's been a lot of overgrown areas in the game, but this doesn't look like any of the stuff I've encountered so far. More resin. Can always use more. Where'd it go? Can always use more resin. That looks like something I can't walk through without getting hurt. What if I run? Ugh. Ugh. What did that do? <coughs> now we have a barnacle on the wall there. Do we have anything that we can throw? I bet we can use that plaster bucket. Yep. So that's the cool thing. I feel like Valve, in whatever they do, they always try and innovate. And they've really... This is no exception. This is definitely the most immersive and the most tightly controlled... VR game that I've yet played. And as we know from Half-Life 2, when they try to have their scary moment, they really tend to succeed. If Ravenholm is anything to go by. Also with Portal 2. Portal 2 did a whole lot with that... It starts off as this goofy little science fiction puzzle game but as you progress through it, there's a whole sci-fi horror story that reveals itself throughout. Okay, now we're gonna need that bucket again because it looks like there's another barnacle inside this little closet. Up it goes, and I betcha there's something in this crate. Yes, there's resin. Oh, is that head crab alive? I'm assuming not. I didn't even notice it at first. Stay dead. Stay dead. Stay dead. You were, you were really starting to move in an uncomfortable way. I want something to put on the lid here. Stay down. Okay, I don't think it's coming out anyway. Okay, let's just get out of here. I don't think it's coming out. Seems there's another crate we can open. More pistol ammo. Now what do we have here? Now for all the overgrowth over here, that main floor seems to be pretty pristine for what it is. It seems like... We're going to be taking a step outside. Maybe this whole level won't take place inside the distillery. Alex, come in, Alex. Alex? Well, oh, there you are. There you are. There's no straight shot to the vault. I'm going to head inside and find a way out. <sighs> nope, we're going back in. It was nothing but false hope. I hear something up there. I 
I definitely hear something up there. It was like a voice. But there's something else. There's like an animalistic, like, growling. Please have a flashlight. More Alex, than... you're never gonna believe. Russ? <sighs> See this? This is how you build up horror. You put me in this dark, creepy environment with a threat that I can hear but not yet see. <laughs> Stop with the snapping. Stop with the snapping. There's just that muffled dialogue. There's just that muffled voice seemingly talking to itself. I only hear, it's like a conversation, but I only hear one voice. What have you guys gotten me into? Oh wait, right, I forgot, you have to... I just got done recording two Gary's Mod videos, so I forgot you have to actually climb the ladders in this. it is is right on the other side of this door. Oh, hey, hey, you with the uh, with the blood on you. You with the blood. Hi. Uh, got a little situation here. Yeah. I can see that. Down. You uh, you don't happen to have a gun on you, do you? All right, I guess I'll help you out. Uh, yeah, look at that. It's a, it's a nice one too. Uh, it's nicer than mine, which is up inside this guy. There's something so lifelike about these animations that really improves the anima the uh, the immersion factor. You good? What was that? What the hell was that? Oh, uh, that's Jeff. Jeff? Oh, don't worry. You can't see. Ears just fine though. Got an ear like Mozart. Who? All right. Now let me help you out. All right. See you on the other side, Gordon. And. Keep your voice down. This just got about ten times creepier. So now we're told in-game about Jeff. Oh, he can hear, but he can't see. That is the kind of thing that sets my mind racing in these kinds of games. Oh, I'm picturing all kinds of monstrosities. It doesn't help that all anyone has told me is like, I'll look out for Jeff. The part with Jeff is really scary. I can't grab onto the edge of the floor, but it will just prop me right back up when I reach that point. Resin. Grabbing resin, honestly, is such an enjoyable mechanic. It's weird. Uh, hi, are you going to help me out? So, what do I do about that? And and is this game gonna? Okay, I'm really hoping that this game doesn't use the index's built-in microphone because that would be a real tragedy for me. Hey, hey. Based on that reaction, I actually didn't get a definitive answer. I know some games do have that as a feature. The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners did it. Although in that it was optional. This may not be where I'm supposed to be. I 
Okay, so it's telling me I can't make that jump down there. Not that I... Why would I even consider going down there? Is there anything... Okay, call me foolish. Is there anything useful in here? There's gotta be something if there's a room here, right? Resin! I will do anything for resin. I'd much rather jump and have a sure thing than have to try and platform with this thumbstick. Locked. So what do I do then? It's really not gonna open. Where do I go? All right, well. Time to christen Jeff. Crap, missed. Can I harm you? This isn't working out the way I want. Can I beat him? Oh, I think I beamed him. I'm obviously meant to do something with these bottles, but what? Or can I drop down through that hole there? Okay. Uh, okay, first let's send him way over there. And then let's move this and drop down through the hole, right? No? And I think he's coming back. I don't think I can fall through this hole. So what am I supposed to do then? Oh, I slap oh, I slap it and it opens. It's a push, not a pull. Hey, hey, Excellent. those things are nasty. You gotta cover your mouth. Got it, thanks. Hey, I, I almost forgot. What's your name? Alex. Alex Vance. Hey, Alex, I'm Larry. Nice to meet you. Hi, Larry. Try not to get killed. <laughs> I love the characters in this game. They're so well done. And like I said, there's something about the smoothness and how organic the animations are that really adds to the immersion. And I wonder if I cover my mouth... My hands are actually... Wow, this is actually a feature. That is so cool. Now I can't move. Uh, sorry about this. It kind of forces the controller to touch the... Uh, kind of forces the controller to touch the headset when I do that, which might be a little bit loud and annoying to you. Can I actually jump back there? See what's in that crate. Oh, don't mind if I do. I'm now realizing I should probably be a lot more mindful. Of my sound. There's a barnacle up there. And a chest right there. I didn't realize this was the gore bucket. Ah! Oh, I just lost tracking on my right hand, and it. Oh, there's a visual for you. Oh my god! He said, cover your mouth so you don't cough. If I cough from these things, it'll attract Jeff. Well, this level is going to be terrifying. I really wouldn't want to lose tracking at the wrong time and start coughing. 
would imagine an encounter with Jeff is a one-hit death. I see that resin. Hi. The only way in is going to be to break that lock by shooting it. How badly do I want that resin? Pretty badly. You shouldn't be able to get in for right now. Truth is, I don't even find the upgrades to be that useful. I'm just addicted to collecting resin. Now, I'm going to want a bottle to throw if things go bad. I'm actually going to keep it in here because I have a feeling I'm going to have to crouch and hide in here when I open this gate and Jeff comes through. Can I even open it with all this crud? Oh! loud. C can he, can he hear me walking? Oh, it just dissolved. Stay right there. Stop rolling. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. He's actually secreting the stuff. If he gets too close, I'll start coughing. do about what am I supposed to do about that door am I supposed to maybe climb up and through that maybe I'm supposed to climb up and through that broken window right there I bet that's what I have to do okay um first I gotta get this resin is he gonna hear that I don't think he's aggro okay Keeping my mouth covered in case he comes back. Let's disassemble this Jenga tower. Ugh. Have I mentioned that this is an incredible game design? The level, the level of immersion that I'm experiencing it right now, really making the most of the medium. I'm actually reaching forward and trying to slowly just maneuver interlinked objects away from each other. It's a little bit annoying, though, that uh, the floor in-game is a little bit lower than my real floor, so I'll have to... Okay, I just used OVR to lower my floor just a little bit, because it feels like I'm going to be spending a lot of time on the ground in this level. How am I going to... See, so much of this... So much of the success of this is going to depend on my ability to throw with the index controllers. I don't know how you'd even do this with, like, the Vive or something. Okay. Let's, uh, grab a bottle of that vodka. Come this way. No, come on, I want you to come this way. So that I can get out there and get a good throw in. Adam free and clear. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Except, uh, maybe not excellent. Maybe not excellent because here he comes. Where is he at? 
He's right there, I think. He can walk through the through the laser field. Or plasma field, or whatever they call it in Half-Life. He's right there. No, don't come closer. Is he gonna walk into that freezer? Maybe I can close it behind me. But I imagine what I'm gonna have to do... Is... Maybe I can throw something through that window to get him to go away. Is this silent? No. That's my ticket. Doesn't look like there's anything back here but some resin, maybe. here that might make noise and it's completely dark you stay right out there where I need you I need to throw something else out there so that he'll leave long enough for me to turn that valve oh the lengths I go to to resin I could have left it already this, it really is taking advantage so much of the medium to allow the player to get fully immersed. Now I've yet to get an answer to the question, can he hear my footsteps? Go, 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 go. Leave, leave, leave. I want your gun. You don't snap me, snappers. No, 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 no. No, no, no. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? He comes immediately. What am I supposed to do? I can't turn that fast enough. Maybe I'm supposed to wedge something underneath? I don't think that's gonna work. What do I do? I'm running out of stuff. Yes, go there. Go there, go there. Do that. Do that thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's not gonna work. It's never gonna work. I don't have enough time. For the first time, I just saw that there's a human face attached to that thing. I'm running out of ideas. Maybe if I turn it more slowly? But other than that, I just don't know what to do. He comes back way too fast. Now is not the time to lose tracking. Just walked straight through his spark cloud. Okay. Now maybe I can turn it just slowly enough. Nope! What, what am I meant to do here? Can I use the force? I can, but that would be a real bad idea right now. Nope! Come on. 
I can't imagine this is an enemy that can be killed. And if I can't kill him quickly enough, it won't matter. Maybe if I throw one thing to send him over there, and then another thing to send him even farther? Because he doesn't seem to go all the way. That's right. Go, run off. Off he trot. And there you are over there. Now another one. Now just fast as possible, 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 fast as possible. Come on, 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 come on. No! What what do you even want me to do? I just got an idea. I just got me an idea. Okay, I just restarted and reloaded the save because I was having some I was having some issues with one of the controllers, but I have still yet to put my idea into effect. Alright, walk away. Walk away. The annoying thing about having to reload was that I had to do a whole nother dance to get that resin out from under that crate. But okay. Just need you to back a little farther away. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. That's right. In you go. No, close! Stay closed! Come on, there we go. Okay, now how long are you gonna stay in there? I assume not forever. Come on. Come on. Come on, there we go, yes. Whatever that did. I don't know what that did, but I'm hoping it's something good. What did that do? Let me guess, you're gonna break out at the last minute. No, come on. Let me through! Don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. Oh, it's gonna be a hacking segment. Okay, let's put this down. I was getting ready to throw that behind him when he came out. All right, what do you want me to do? He's out. Oh, I have to go out to finish the repair. No, that is the opposite. That is the exact opposite of what I wanted to do. Where is it? Are you out yet? Let's just go. Where am I even going? Was there something on the other side that I had to do? No. He's gonna get out. What am I even looking for? Do I have to let him out? I can't even tell because it's not showing me anymore. Oh, come on. Come on. Surely, surely it's worth trying to climb up and over this, or through that gap, anything, before letting him out. Oh, I can see him moving around in there. Or at least I think I could. Alright, uh, a glass, anything. It's 
Something really weird was going on with my perspective just now, but okay. What's in here? Can I open that? No. Okay. That way. What else is it that I'm meant to do? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Oh my god! Alright, uh... I don't think I'm done yet. Or am I? I'm not seeing the stuff anymore. I think I'm done. I think. But I still have to... I still have to make all this happen. Over there. Sorry, I keep hitting the headset. Oh my god. Ugh. That moment when you realize you have to actually, after you think you've solved all your problems, you have to let them out. Now, I don't imagine it's possible to lock them back in. Definitely want to keep these throwables on hand. Please? Oh my god, it's still the puzzle. Come on. Come on. Come on! I can't get over there! What does it want me to do? Move, 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 move. What's happening? Is he in here with me? I couldn't even tell what was going on there for the last bit. I pushed it. Oh, and of course it has the nerve to play that elevator music. Oh my god. I saw that noise. I didn't expect to play the most masterful horror level of all time. There's nothing for me to throw. Move through, move through, move through, move through. Well, it doesn't look like I'd be able to open that door anyway. It was a trap. Just like that is. Let me guess, you're gonna smash through there, right? No. No. Come on. Oh, it's a push. It's a push. The push pull got me again. This looks like a run kind of place. Nope. I would rather. No, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Come on. No. Come on. 
Out of my way. Out of my way, come on, go! Go, get... This isn't working in VR. Uh, go, 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 go. Uh, now what do I do? Don't you go snap snapping at me. Uh, I don't even have time. I know this isn't a very commentary heavy playthrough, but I'm kind of trying to think on my feet here. No, 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 no explosions. Hey. Look at that. He's giving me a little it's giving me a little thumbs up. Good combine. Look at oh, these environments. Can you hear me? More or less. You're breaking up. I think you're still in the distillery. I made a friend named Jeff. Well, that's great. We can take all the help we can get. Yeah, we're not really close. Listen, there should be a big tunnel-sized plug in the floor there somewhere. That's gonna be... The tunnel out of here? Correct. You get it open, I'll figure out where it leads. Something tells me we've not seen the last of Jeff. And of course I need three of these things. I hope I don't have to fight more of those lightning dogs from earlier in the game. <sighs> Time to make some noise. Which has much worse connotations given the present circumstances. Ask any and all head crabs to please remain dead. Can't open that. I imagine that's where I need to get, though. Come on, get out. Careful not to knock out any glass. One of my biggest fears right now is that I'll accidentally slam the bottle in my hand into something, but I feel like I always need to be carrying one. More stuff. There's gotta be... Ah, here's one. It responds to those. Of course it does. Of course it does. Move, 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 move. Put you in there. And now, drop that and climb, climb, climb. Oh. Yeah, Jeff. Uh, okay, I guess we're taking this one at a time. I really hope there's checkpoints. Here. Here's your stinking thing. What is that? What is that? Two more to go? Oh, my heart. Oh, my heart. Alright. Now what? Once again, we're going to want to carry a bottle and keep one of these wrist slots open so that I can, I can carry one of the things because I don't want to be carrying out a power node and a bottle because then I can't cover my mouth. There's one in there, but how do I get there? I'll have to... Oh, wow, I'll actually have to uh, grab that thing, place it on there, and then turn it. But how will I do that? Um, maybe meant to hide right here. So I'll place a bottle on the ground right here so I have it. Where are you at, Jeff? Come on. 
Was that enough? Was that loud enough to get your attention? It's like you're just waiting for me to do it. really going to make me slide it onto this thing? Well, no, because if I were to slide it onto this thing, it wouldn't be able to turn. What does it want me to do to get in here? I don't see any other way. If I'm to slide it onto here, it can't turn. But maybe I can turn it enough Maybe I can turn it enough that I can pull it down and have it roll down through the bottom. Okay. Gotta be ready to, uh, toss this thing. I'm gonna wait for him to walk away first. Okay. mentioned I really have to praise the game design for this segment of the game. Okay. Give it here. And I want that resin, but honestly, I might have met my match as far as motivation for resin goes. Then again, So I can pull out that drawer so that the contents fall into the one below. Reach over and grab this. And physics glitch aside, we're good. We got that resin. Nice. There's a hole in that wall there. You're going to be a little bit of a problem right now, aren't you? I'm going to go ahead and toss this over there. Hope you don't come this way. Just realized that was a major oversight in my plan. And let's make our way out. Ugh, come on. There we go. All right. Two out of three. Two out of three. Let's go. And I would imagine that the third one probably has something to do with that hole in the wall. In you go. All right. Power almost restored. Power almost restored, but I kind of feel like it's going to pull something... There's always some kind of twist rooney on the third one. Where are you at, Jeff? He's right there! He's right there! He's right there! He's literally right at the bottom of the ladder! Oh my god! I just jumped down on top of Jeff. Jumped right down on top of Jeff. Let's move you. Come on, move. Move, move, move. No! Okay. Can I... Yep. Right here. Right here. No! No! There's a freaking barnacle. Is it gonna make a loud sound when it drops? No. It sure is! Surely is! Go, out we go, out we go, out we go. No, no, no! I don't have it. Right. Thank God for these gloves. Oh. Thank God for these gloves. Alright, let's go. The cruelest trick I could pull right now is making me go back in there. For whatever reason. Worst of all, for a hacking minigame. That- that was just some ingenious level That's design right before. That was some truly ingenious level design, making it so that 
I, I felt triumphant, like I had triumphed over the horror. I had trapped Jeff. But then it forced me to go back and undo that progress and actually let him out for my own good. And then it trapped me in that claustrophobic elevator with something that can insta-kill me, presumably. Those appear to be antlion limbs. It trapped me in that claustrophobic space with the insta-kill monster. Who I have a feeling is going to be bursting out of that there door. And it made me creep out behind him from my little hidey hole just to push the button that was right next to him. That is genius level design. And it's such a good example of taking advantage of the medium, which is something that Valve has always been great at. Now, how do I turn you? I think I have to pull you first. Come on. And then push... Do I have to pull you out first? How exactly do I... What the hell is that? That's Jeff. Keep your voice down. Please blow up. Now what? What, is, what does it even want me to do now? What can I do? I can distract him, but distract him to where? And what do I do once that happens? do another hacking minigame, isn't it? It's not gonna make me do that. What do I have to do? Is this gonna be one of those hacking minigames? Come on. Of course we're not done with Jeff yet. That was close. So whatever I have to do here, I clearly have to... Is this some kind of trash incinerator? I would really, really hope so. I would really, really hope so. Again, I'm sorry I keep hitting the... I'm sorry I keep hitting the headset. That's probably really annoying for you. I have to flip that switch and push the button, I guess. Or the other way around. Which is it? God, I don't even know how to operate this thing. I hope you're dying in there. Come on. There we go. It's a trash compactor. Excellent. <sighs> yes. Oh my god, Jeff, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> I love Alex so much. Oh, wow. This is... I have never... been so... Ew. Oh, he's still gassing me up. Oh. I have never felt so relieved. This must be what it's like to be the protagonist at the end of a horror movie. Actually, this is kind of how Terminator ended. But, oh... Such great level design. That's... I, I feel like that's the main takeaway from this whole segment is that it makes you feel like the protagonist of a horror movie. 
And it lands so much better because it's VR. So you're actually in, you're actually in that role, experiencing it firsthand. Ah, oh, Gaben, you've done it again. All right, Gaben, I'm gonna ask you a loaded question. What makes you so great? Okay, what do I do with you guys oh, now? What did you do to Jeff? Yeah, I trapped Jeff in a trash compactor, and then I crushed him. God damn! Well, I, uh, I hope you came across some of the good stuff. See you around. Okay, the coast is clear. Time to get that plug open so we can get through those tunnels. All right. So what is this, like a pull out or a push in? I'm not very good with that, as we've already seen. Do I have to pull this back down again? Or am I on like a time limit? Ah, there we go. It should be open now, right? I don't I don't understand I don't understand what I did wrong. Alright, pull it down. Pull you out? No. Yes? Pull you out? It's not really working correctly, I feel like. But it was blue. I had two blue. Now what do I do with you? Do I rotate you all the way around, or...? See, it seems to me like this is... I don't, un I don't understand. There doesn't seem to be anything else I can actually do. I just don't know what it wants me to do. Oh, there's like another lever on the other side. I didn't even notice that. All right. Come on. Come on. This really isn't working that well. Come on. There we go. And with that... Good news! That tunnel heads to the vault. Great. Also, little heads up, I think the tunnel is full of antlions. Just in case I cut out permanently. Antlions. 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 Uh... Yeah, you know. Aliens with stabby legs. Oh, yes. Uh, and very small, like ants. No. Uh, like tiny little lions. No, that's not them. These ones are pretty dangerous. Right. Uh, well, whatever they are, they're down that tunnel. Yep. Off I go. And for Alex, and for me, the horror continues. But not for you, because I'm going to end this here. I've pretty much already said everything I was going to say about this in the video itself, but that truly was an amazing experience, and I'm so glad you guys asked me to record it. Uh, but as always, uh, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. And as always, I will see you in the next one.